And there we go. We are ready to start another data stacks. Apache Cassandra C Sharp Hour. Today I'm going to be working further on the Cassie schema migrator, which is a Cause Apache Cassandra schema migration tool that I started working on a few weeks back that is going to work with Apache Cassandra and will eventually also work with Datastax Enterprise to do all of the schema migrations you need for your graph, your distributed database, core bits, time series stuff, whatever you need. This is going to be the tool to do schema migrations for your multi-model Datastax Enterprise or Apache Cassandra database. Um, with that, I have popped open JetBrains Writer to get started again. But before we get rolling here, let's talk a little bit about what we have been doing in previous episodes. That's always a good question. What have we been doing in previous episodes? Sometimes I'm starting to think that maybe, hello, Ancient Coder, maybe I should do these every day so I don't forget what I was doing previously. But fortunately for all of us involved, I do actually remember a few of the things that I was working on last time. Um, one, I uh, don't really need to discuss it too much, but we do have a build now. So in JetBrains Writer, if I go up and click on the Show All Files, there is uh, all that orange. I need to change the background of that. We have a new file called Azure Pipelines. It is a YUML file, um, and it has just a few little bits here. The pool is using an Ubuntu 16.04 image to initiate, do the build, and thus build this application for us on, in, or in the pipeline, in the Azure DevOps pipeline. The steps are pretty, pretty basic. There's not a lot going on. We simply have a command line step that does a restore, which I've named restore, uh, and that's executing the .NET Core CLI, calling restore against the Cassie schema migrator solution file, which includes all three of our projects that we have in here. So we have the lib test, console, and all that good jazz. Uh, and then we just do a build against that solution file, which means it will then build all of these three uh, projects. Now, I need to add some other stuff, too. Like, actually, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should wait. I need to build a test, or I need to have it execute tests. But I'm going to hold off just a little bit. Um, we'll get to test real soon. But if we pop in here, let's actually look at where we're at with tests. So we have the test helper, which effectively spits a bunch of stuff in a database for us. Um, so we can work against that to verify that uh, we're, we're initiating some migrations. And this is just putting, I'm sorry, it doesn't spit anything into a database. It creates files that will help us create a database is what that does for the test. So it puts the files out there and then the core lib tests go through and um, we verify that the files are there or that they do not exist when they shouldn't exist, that they do exist when they should. Uh, that we get the path list, path available, etc. The idea is we need to pull in all of these files and create a list so that we can work through each file one at a time. Boom, 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 as our migration steps. In this particular situation, let's, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, in the helpers, you can see what files I have in here that are named accordingly. Um, some of these, like these last, yeah, like this one is one that should be avoided. Dot text should be avoided. Only the dot CQL files, which are the Cassandra files, should be uh, brought into consideration, right? The additional bit is that there should be a date at the beginning, then dot something, then dot up or dot down. <clears throat> to signify that it is a migration up to create the database and put whatever pertinent schema should be in the database in the database. And then we have a dot down to bring down uh, the database when we're done using it. Of course, this is schema migrations are all about clean development environments, clean continuous integration and continuous deployment tasks. 
vanilla cream. It's good stuff. Um, so with that said, let's run the test and see if we left ourselves some uh, path to this future here. So here's our test all listed out as this does. And then we'll just, uh, what's it? Run unit test, singular or run current session, which should run all the tests. So I'm gonna run that, and get in there and see, see what we're doing there. All right, we already have a trail. There is a catastrophe. One of the tests have failed, as they sometimes do. Verify correct number task derived from files. Expected actual, oh, okay. Can I go to jump, jump to source? That's what I want to do. All right, result count. So test health, set up migrations for test. Let's go to declaration to see what this method does for us. Okay, so this setup migrations for test, there should be nine. Ah, and then right below that is new file selection. This is the part that we're really testing and it's gonna get the files and the result should have a count. The result being, yeah, list of schema migration tasks. The file selection migration path get files should get us a list of tasks put together in their appropriate object instantiation. So let's go to the declaration of that and see what we're doing. All right, so new var files, new files. Okay, so that creates, this instantiates an object of type, a list of type schema migration task. Schema migration task has, let's look at that real quick just to clarify what we have in there. There we go. All right, so we have in schema migration task, a constructor, which takes a file info object, a string, the CQL, migration type, date time, order date, and it puts it together. So basically the task file would be the actual file that has been picked up to to execute it's either a it's some type of valid identified file with the with the name format and everything meeting the requirements so that's a file info and then from there we're going to read in the contents of the file which will be and should be cql um we're going to designate it migration type migration type is being i don't remember what that is let's go look at it real quick declaration Oh, up, down, or invalid. So it's going to state the direction of creation or destruction of the database. And then the order date. So these four things should allow us to determine uh, what we want to do and what order those things should be done in. All right, so we got that. Then I'm going to go back over to file selection. Directory info is a new instantiated object with operation path passed in. Files to check is a list of the files. So we get the files. Yeah, and then we start looping through here. And this is where, uh, okay. Should get files to check, file name, split on that. And then we got, okay, this is where we should step through. So let's do this what is this profile current session let's do this and then debug that unit test we'll get moved into it it's kind of interesting that two processes are running I don't know what the other process is that's that's running or even should be running. It's just that one test that's attempting to run.
Come on, .NET. You can do it. Build that C sharp. Running. <laughs> it could go slower, I suppose. There we go. All right, so where are we at? We got file parts. Evaluate that sucker. So file parts for this one has three. So we got the date at the beginning, the name of it, right? The description of whatever's going to happen. It's a down uh, migration task, and it's got CQL in it. Hmm. I feel like my machine is about to crash or something. Come on, VM, do your thing. Either crash or quit. Bear with me here. So, oh, the VM did crash, though, so that, that was one thing. Um, no telling what it crashes on. It's usually some network-related thing. VirtualBox is not exactly uh, the most stable thing, but it provides me the cleanest platform in which to create new images whenever I want to build stuff from scratch without a bunch of cruft on the box. So, uh, But I do think I am starting to feel like maybe... Maybe I should not use VirtualBox for that. Maybe I should actually get um, an alternate thing, alternate setup to work with since it tends to provide some instabilities. Cleaner environments, easier to show the audience what I'm trying to show, but overall kind of more difficult in certain situations. Um, yeah damn thing all right here we go JetBrains writer opening up schema migrator again so it's it's working on that actually on the attacking side that blackbeard working. getting some of the background stuff running while i'm doing that here we go so if you've come back thanks for coming back to check out what we're working on here my apologies for the significant break time. So hopefully you got a coffee or something during that time. And we were on this test. TPS reports reassigned to something, something, whatever. Not even worried about it, nor the R interpreter. I feel like I should just take that out. So let's debug this test, actually. files to check. So one thing we want to do is we want to check. So it says there's nothing in there. So something. So first we want to check that there's files to check. There should be nine, I believe. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to determine that it's putting this together, right? Because down here is where we create the object, add it to the files to return here, right? That bit. So here we are. We're here. File name parts, we have four, just like we did last time. We're looking at the May 1st, 2006, doing of the bits, dot down, dot CQL file. The file to check specifically is this one at whatever location that is. Um, and then we have files to check, something, something, something. Okay. Uh, files, file to check, files to check. So here it says count is 12. And we're actually getting back none. There should be nine. There's nine valid ones. We know that just from we know, because we know our test data. All right, so let's go to, let's step in. What is the timeline? That's not what I want. Get, not what I want. I wonder if there's a debugging bar. Let's learn more about JetBrains Rider. Build.
Okay, that's a super annoying song. Data migration. Well, I could just hit this and go to the next one. Oh, and here's all these buttons. Oh, it tells us. Okay, so F10 is step over. Then step over F10, step, four step over. Step into is the left 11, shift F7, step out, run to statement, force run to statement. And then this is show execution point. Okay, so let's do 10. That should get us, yeah, okay. So, this says parsed yaw, if parsed yaw is true, date charges, okay, that verifies that it's a date. So if, if date valid, uh, date also has to be less than now, and file to check needs to be CQL, and needs to be up down. So if that's good, Where did we end up? We ended up somewhere. Oh, up down is false. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, try parts, file names part, file name parts dot length. Okay, so now we're on, whoa, directory. So we're on the next file now. file name is process but here this file won't be processed okay that one should bomb out actually because yeah parsed yeah and then up down is going to become false because there's no up down we should change var to bool so this one's false Extension is not right. Okay. So let's do this. Let's run to here again. Okay. So this one will be a down. So this should be true now. False, still false. So file name parts. Down to two. Oh, file name is this. So it should be two. Oh, well, let's do this. All right, we're going to check this out. So file name parts. part equals semicolon yeah and then all right so there's parsed yes or no the part should be the thing that we're trying to parse Oh wait, what is it? File name parts. Is that file name parts? Should be that. There we go. Okay, let's debug that.
I tell you, it takes forever to get this stuff launched. What the hell is it doing? Come on. I feel like it got stuck again. Let's do that and let's try to just rerun all of them again. Oh, so it bombed out. Shouldn't have done that. It should have stopped. Let's go here again. Oh, maybe it's... No, let's do that one again. That's probably what got the other thing stuck. So there's our file name. 12 files to check as expected. And the collected data is, there they are over there in this path. Come on, collect data faster, geez. Okay, there we go, creation time, da da da. That looks correct. Then we got directory, directory name, exists, exists core, extension is CQL. So all that looks that looks appropriate. So let's step in. All right, so parsed, yeah. It's false now, but should be true after this. Right? Yeah. Because we've got a date. We got down, we got CQL, so it should work. So this now, what is this going to be? Four parts. Part two should be down. So yeah, that, that is down. So then this is down. So up down is false. So it still says false. So this this is wrong. Up down. feel like I need to do up down try parse the part
Oh, we should do ignore case too. Let's do that. String boolean t num comes to string representation and turn. Oh, did I do that? Try parse. Oh, I didn't give it the type. Fooey. a little bit better since it shows that okay <sighs> that might work for us I hope gracious be down and up down is true oh my god did we just fix it maybe we just fixed it whoops that's not what i wanted so let's let's step into this oh my goodness okay we're doing it now so file check file to check correct read all text of this file then the migration goes here, which is down. Oh, it had to be, yeah, it needed to be, it needed to ignore the case because the migrations, excuse me, just to verify. It looks like migration is down with an uppercase D, so that would have never worked. And then the date is 516. That is a correct. All right, so then we're going to bump that down. Whoa, sweet, sweet Mother Mary. Craziness, something, something broke. Let's look at all the stuff again. So we're gonna just loop the test. Start again, we'll stop on this and actually look at the value, see what we're trying to dump into the object. All right, so what do we got here? We have file, file to check that, which that's that's the path. Then full name is that thing, yeah. And then migration is down and then date of migration. Valid in the given context. Oh, okay. Let's stop that then. Retrieved CQL equals that. And let's put in retrieved CQL. Let's see where that gets us.
Oh, it dorked up on the stuff. Ah, oh, crap. Come on, try again. You can do it. Okay. It seems to be working. Looks like I don't know what it looks like. Looks like Huh. Okay, I gotta stop right here then. Let's try that again. There we go, file to check. Let's see. So this is a string. Let's copy the value. And then let's get in there. Actually, let's do this, code. Take a look at the file. So there's nothing in here. This is, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. So there's nothing in there. Uh, I wonder if that method bombs out if there's nothing in it. Hmm. Read all text. File dot read all text. Coding. Opens the file, reads all the text in the file with specified encoding, then closes the file. Reads all the text in the file, then closes the file. Valid path characters. Path is null. Path too long. Shouldn't get that. I'm on Linux. Hmm. How does this work? This is your write all lines. Wow. Oh, okay. Hmm. The files are going to need something eventually to test with. So uh, let's go. Let's go actually look at those. So the migrations for test create these. Where is create these? Oh, create, wait, create. 
create these. <sighs> so, oh, file.create right here. Okay. So in file.create, So we can do write all lines. So then something write all lines. File dot write all lines. All text string okay let's do that one instead so then we do the string then the contents okay so then so this is going to be let's call this valid migration one up Oh gracious, this is gonna become a mess. So let's see, what we'll do, I think will work, unless somebody's got a better idea. I'm gonna pick the ones that I want to have data. <sighs> I feel like maybe I should do this via bash outside of, well, that ain't gonna work with, this will work with whatever system, whether it runs on Windows, Linux, or whatever, puts files there and then pulls out pertinent test stuff. So I really need to do it by file. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's create a variable for this one. Do this, refactor. Let's create a variable for it. Yeah, bar. Sure, that sounds good. And then this is going to be refactor rename. We'll call this. Uh, migration one valid up. Actually, va um, up valid. And this one will be variable and we'll call it Migration up valid two be one. There we go. So then one, let's do this then. So the path is migration up valid one. Oh, that's not going to be the path though. That's going to be the file name and I need the path. <sighs> oh, let's do this then. Let's take this. Take that. And we'll do this. And path combine directory dot full name 
right? I should get the, yeah, okay. And then that. So then I should get, be able to do migration one, migration two, like so. Get rid of that one. Okay, so that'll give us contents in there. Or well, once we create it here. So then, so this is class, public class, test helpers, test static migration contents. Um, I'm gonna make this a public static class this and then public static well, actually what whatever I want to make a bar um, migration up valid one CQL equals this stuff. Public static. should be named appropriately. Yeah, and then what was the other one? Yeah, make it read only. So we'll call this select asterisk from cheese. Select asterisk from whatever those are valid statements so they're good enough for now so then we need to do that for each one so let's get this down valid that's up 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 okay
Hey yo. Alright, cool. Valid path two and migration valid path three. Almost got them all. All right. Oh shit, what did I do with that one? Ooh, I mean, fooey, whatever. <laughs> there we go. And then the junky ones. All right, so adding the junky ones down three, and then bar migration no go one equals this. Well, bar migration no go two equals that. I just move down here. Oh yeah, okay, just just tripping out. And then this is var migration no go three test. I don't like this. But, hey, Carvalho, uh, thanks for the follow. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. I am, I am glad with this initiative, too. Um, all right, so that's, that's kind of messy. We need to add this stuff down here. And then I'm just going to add junk stuff to do this. So this is... What I do? So we have five up valid, four down valid. So I have to do one, two, three, four, whoops, shit, four, five, and then this will be one, two, three, four, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, okay. One, two, four, five. This would be down. Okay, so now we can use these to build out the thing based on content. And then these should, she, sh those should never be Do you, yeah, I do, these, this is something that I very normally work on. This is something I've been working on for a few weeks. Um, <clears throat> working on a schema migration tool and I'm putting in some static tests so I can very specifically test for certain things. Um, I need some files that have CQL in them to be able to test. So right now, let's see, public static read only string. Right now I'm just adding as you can see, junk CQL, select star from cheese, stuff that would never be in a migration uh, for any particular reason. But I'm adding it so that we can have files that have um, some type of content, right? That's your two. And eventually the, this will be, each of these would be different, not like the same thing. Like obviously I could just loop through this and add in, um, the different things if it was going to be all the same, but I don't want it to be all the same. Uh, whoops, this is the wrong thing. So I did down. And I need to do file.write all text. Migration up valid to test uh, state contents dot migration to Ah, there we go. Three, four. Uh, 
up valid. So I need five of these, or there's going to be five of these, I should say. Five. And then down. It's four of these things, and we're all set pretty much there. Okay, so let's get one. One, two, three, four. Three, oops. Three, four. All right. Now we can put the content in here as we see fit. So this is what, what's it saying? Yeah. Now, if I rerun all these, it should go back into verify correct number test tasks derived from files so that it brings up where we were debugging last. And it should show us the specific piece of data Cannot access the file. What process cannot access the file? Being used by a different process? That's silly talk. Let's run all these real quick. Oh, now a whole bunch of stuff's bombed out. Oh, I bet. I bet. I know what it is. Let's see where I added all this stuff. So all these are combined, then it adds that, and then it file creates. Then I bet I need to, yeah, if. Well, it's there. Oh, maybe this file dot close. specified string to the file then closes the file oh I know what let's do this let's get rid of the for loop like that and then what we will do is we'll add these three file dot write all text and we'll do migration no go one test nothing to see here we'll do file dot write all text migration to still nothing to see here either and then file dot write all text file should be skipped. There we go. Okay. Then we don't need that. I don't like that. What is this?
Sometimes, yeah, I don't like that. It's not, that's not cool. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think they are accessing it at the same time because I was looping it and it wasn't finishing. Some of the other stuff was catching up and trying to overwrite it. So let's see if that works. So you go back to the root here and run. Some of the other tests are passing though, as you can see here, so that's good. Oh, look at there. All right, sweet. So we're looking at this directory, this file. There's four parts to it. It's down. So this one should get all the text out of it. Yeah. Select from cheese. It's looking good, looking good. And we're here, migration task, if I evaluate it, has what in it? Let's see. Collect data, CQL, oh, that looks good. That is correct, that is correct, and that is correct. Sweet. All right, so if I just run it now. Okay, whew. So nine found, nine recorded. That is working correctly. Finally. All right, cool, 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 cool. So now the question is, well, we're actually at the end of the hour. I added a little extra time there since I had that system failure with the stream. Um, we added that test, or we got that test working. But let's create one more just so we can leave it broken to start on for next C-sharp hour. Uh, sorry, let's hear. We got all those added. Um, this does not exist. New path. What were we doing here? We were saying, oh yeah, we need the nine files. Oops. This fact public void verify um, tasks are ordered. So this will be basically we'll get our well, we'll build build up everything like we do for each test. Tear down. Yep. Okay. So we create everything and then we tear down everything. And then we want to get a result, new file selection. There we go, migration path, dot get files. All right, so that'll give us the thing we want to test. And then we want to, let's see, result. It's just a list of the items. Hmm. See you next time, Cavallo. Uh, trying to get this on a regularly scheduled time, so next time it will be. Until then, cheers. Thanks for the follow. Actually, I don't know what to do. I'm going to put throw new exception. New exception. Oh, throw new not implement exception. Test the ordering of the. Oh, test. Test for uh, only up or only down based on call. Probably want to add the pertinent functionality in method. And 
here. R for up or up migration when up migration called. Appropriately. And then we need let's see here up, let's be down, down migration when down migration called. for down my down based on call yeah, anyway okay that's good enough so now there's a break next time we bounce in here so I'm gonna actually jump out of this and open up the terminal do the commit this way so add the changes this should, I don't think this is going to break our new build that we have, but this is also evident that we need to add the tests to the build, which will be interesting how, how that will actually work. So let's see here, let's commit adding tests, prepared for next session. There we go, okay. And then, oops. This is Cassie Schema Migrator. Ah, well, it's right here. <laughs> okay, so this is yeah, so let's go look at the last one here. Is it showing the one that just built, I believe, eight seconds, 529? It's It's not 529, it's 65. So let's go over here and see where we are with that. Ah, this one's building, okay. So restore just finished, so it should be, yeah, there we go. All right, we got a good build. Obviously, we know three of those tests would fail because they throw exceptions right now. However, build's good. So next time, um, I'm not gonna add nothing there. Uh, next time though, I will add add that capability. So, and I wonder if. If we start, I wonder if they have more badges for GitHub. If we go in here, boards, work items. But no, I, didn't, I don't want to add a, oh crap. Okay, so issues, epics. Status, ah, status badge, there's a status badge, sweet. So let's add this actually. There, and then in here, we'll do a new item, and we'll say uh, fix the build to include tests. And then 
continue and complete the three addition, whoops, additional tests around the file ordering and choosing the up or down files. There we go. Something like that. So anyway, I'm in their charts. So let's go back to GitHub. And then let's add that badge in there. Space. And let's hear. Adding the task items from Azure DevOps. God, I hate typing that. DevOps. To the Uh, read me, read, read me, whatever. Here we go. Doing zero. Oh, so doing, we'll go ahead and, we'll go ahead and move it whatever there. Oh, look, it did our, yeah, thanks. So then, one final peek. I just want to see the badge updated. There we go, doing one item, last build succeeded. All right, sweet, so now we know exactly where we need to leave off, or where we need to continue next time. And we probably need to switch these things over to the other thing if we're gonna use that. But anyway, whatever, that's here and there. We'll fiddle with this stuff later. Um, for now, I'm gonna keep everything here. Until next time, everybody have a good one. Cheers.